Hello my beautiful bolitas and welcome back to another banging video. So today I filmed this beautiful look. I really love how it came out. It was my first time playing with colors like this and I also did purchase the glitter on my lid from a small business owner. Her name is Yemi's Boutique on Instagram. So definitely go check her out. And if you guys would like to see how I created this beautiful look and the products and techniques I use, then just keep watching. Okay, so I already did my brows, cleaned them up, and I primed my eyelids. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the look. Alright, so this is my first time doing something like this. So I'm low-key scared. But this is what this channel is all about. So I'm trying a new technique that I've never done before, but I've seen other beauty influencers do it as well. But I want to try it. So I'm grabbing my Tardius Pro Palette. And I'm picking up my Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to pick up this shade right over here. It is called Edgy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like pick it up like that. And I'm just going to like place it along my crease. Just place it. Let me get my handy dandy hand mirror. So something like that. I really hope I'm doing this right y'all. But if anything we'll fix it. It's just makeup. And I didn't set my concealer. I want to cover my whole lid. I'm going to look crazy, but this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. So now that that is there. I'm going to grab a clean fluffy brush. This is my Morphe Extract Until JH30. And I'm going to blend that out. Just to soften everything up. I've never done like dark eyes like this neither guys like a smoky type of eye look I've never done it I'm excited but I'm nervous so I want my outer edges to be a little bit warmer so I don't know what color I want to grab though actually I want to try this but I'm kind of scared I'm kind of scared I'm not gonna lie so I'm gonna grab another small brush this is my morphe m546 brush M456 brush and I'm gonna grab this shade over here. It's called smoked and I want to put that like in like kind of like the outer areas to deepen it Should I do that now? Yeah, I I want it to overall be like a darker type of look. So let's see I look like I got punched in my eye. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of scared to do all this now just gotta trust the process though. Trust and believe is gonna be good. So I had placed an order for this on this small business owner's website. But the name of her shop is Yami's Boutique. I'll also place it here as well. I picked up 11 of her pigments and like glitters and all that so i'm going to use this this is a shade chestnut and this is one of the finer glitters and i want to do like a halo eye with it to see how it is i was put on to yami's boutique by this girl that i follow on tiktok her at is beat by ari and she said that she'd be using her glitters and her pigments and all that and that she loves them so i'm like i want to try them out too so i placed an order and these are only a dollar a dollar dollar a dollar glitter like why not so let's just see how it performs so i'm gonna grab my almar cosmetics but pretty metal primer this is for pigments and glitters and all that it's a long wearing pigment sticky base so i'm going to pick up my morphe m124 brush it's this flat concealer brush <laughs> So that's about the shape I want. I don't know if you guys can see just like that. And then I'm just going to take my chestnut glitter. So I'm going to pick up my Morphe M124. And then I'm going to place that where I put my pigment primer. Oh my gosh, there's so much glitter on my face and it's tickling me. I'm trying not to open my eye because I don't want glitter to get in my eye. That's like the worst. Alright, let's try to wipe this off my face. It's not wiping off my face. Okay. That's fine. This is what the glitter looks like so far. It looks so pretty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the edges out. I think this is 
gonna look so good. I feel like on camera I can't really grasp. Have a look. I need a better camera. I really do want to buy a camera, guys. I be using my phone. I feel like it does a good job. But I feel like you guys can't see what this looks like right now. And it looks amazing. And on camera, it's like not picking up the pigmentation. I feel like I kind of want to add more. I feel like I want to make it more like a little more rounded. So I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the pigment primer. Just so I can have a little bit more of like a rounded even shape. Boom. That looks so good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, so I already went ahead and did my other eye. Now I'm just going to prime my face. I'm going to prime using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I haven't used this in forever, guys. Like, I've really just been using my Benefit one. I don't want to show you guys, like, the same products over and over. Like, I don't know if y'all will get tired of that. <laughs> And I like to like fluctuate between my primers just so like I don't know I forget how this one works you know I, like, I don't know how to explain it like I forget how this one works already because I've been using my benefit one all the time every time I do my makeup I've been using that so I'm gonna go ahead and use my wet and wild photo focus do we high highlighter do we foundation just don't know which one I think it's this one, the bronze beige is what I use. I'm gonna put that on my face. And we just gonna buff it out. I made a TikTok doing this eye. I've been doing that a lot lately. Like I've been more frequent on TikTok posting. And today I noticed like my last video, I have like 900 something views. And guys, like I gaining more followers. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like it's just such a nice feeling like knowing and then a lot of people are just supporting me like down in the comments it's like a joyful feeling knowing like people are supporting you and complimenting your work and like they don't even know you like it's just i love how the internet works but if you're not following me on tiktok already i will link it down below so you guys can follow me oh and also if you guys aren't following me on instagram as well that will all be linked down below so you can follow me and keep up with my social media accounts. I feel like this look is gonna look so good at the end, guys, when I'm all done. I feel like every time I set my face, that's when everything goes back to normal oh my goodness today's a busy day today's my first off day it's a saturday my first off day in like a while i think my last day off day was on a tuesday i'd be working and it'd be long like long hours like i'm talking like when it's still dark outside like i'd be at work like in the morning dark outside in the morning it's just so like draining like on my body like my body just feels so tired usually i'm off today finally but it's still kind of it's still kind of like a busy day because like i said like my boyfriend's birthday is coming up so it's a lot of like planning and prepping for that this one with my eye all right now that i got some color back i feel good <laughs> i'm so excited for this look and i feel like every single time i get excited like i get all like and I'm trying not to do that because sometimes I'd be extra like I'd be <laughs> I'd be so hype and it's like alright girl so but I can't help it so I don't care oh my goodness so guys I feel like let's just talk about this so what do y'all think about the um so Tory Lanez just dropped yesterday as well and so did Drake and he dropped saying like I remember he had tweeted because I follow like the shade room and the shade room reposted it saying that he was like, oh, me and Dre Job Lamar, like, it's about to be crazy, whatever. Like, and then he started saying some weird stuff that was, like, kind of questionable. Then he started, like, blaming Spotify. Like, I didn't really hear it because I don't, I didn't watch the video. I just read the caption or whatever. Because I don't like him. Like, I do not like that boy. 
I don't like him. Because of the whole thing with, like, Meg and everything. I really do think that he is guilty for what he did to Meg this past, I think it was over the summer, yeah. So, I choose not to listen to him no more. I'm not going to listen to him if I don't, I don't support him. So, I'm not going to listen to his music. Like, and at that, like, Trick's tape was probably, like, the last cool thing he dropped. Like, he's not a detrimental artist to me that, like, oh my god, I have to listen to him. No, like, Trick's tape was cool, but, like, I could live without and summer 2016 that was really like his prime and from there it went bad so i don't care i guess he dropped the album i don't i don't know i don't pay attention to him like that but either a song or an album whatever it was he dropped and drake dropped as well and then he was talking about the spotify is playing him this that and the third that like oh my gosh like i can't believe you're doing this whatever and then he brought his race into it that's what like the caption has said and i'm just like boy <laughs> regardless you dropped on the same day as drake let me repeat that you dropped on the same day as drake of course your shit's gonna flop like are you serious drake that, that was like a dumb marketing move like i don't know how else to put it for him and he's like blaming spotify like how are you blaming spotify for your shit like flopping i don't i don't get it like i really don't i guess he thinks that they're not streaming his stuff or whatever like i don't really know how the algorithm for spotify or whatever works like that but my take you dropped on the same day as drake it's not gonna go good like i don't know what else to just like everybody who collabs with Drake, it's always going to be fire. Because it's Drake. It's Drake. Name a trash song. Honestly. I just need my girl Kalani to drop. I want the deluxe album. I want something. Kalani. Drop a song. I'm really so adamant on if they're like, I don't like you as a person. I'm not going to support your music or whatever it is that you do. Just like... Just like R. Kelly, for one. Oh my goodness. I feel like that is such a, a controversial thing for, like, absolutely no reason. I couldn't even get through the documentary because stuff like that is so triggering to me. But I watched some of it and I got up to the this one part and I was just like, right, I gotta turn it off now because that that's horrible. Like, my, I was like crying through the whole thing because it's disgusting. Like, he is disgusting and he deserves to rot exactly where he is in that cell. But besides the fact, I don't listen to his stuff anymore. Trapped in the Closet, that was my jam. Like, that was my jam when I was a child. Middle school, high school, like, that was my ish. And all of his songs, bops. Like, I loved his music this past summer. Like, that's when the documentary came out. And I was like, all right, I'm going to watch this. I just decided to watch it because it wasn't a topic that I knew a lot about. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't oh yeah he did you know what i mean so i was like i'm gonna watch it i watched it and it was horrible and ever since then i have not listened to r kelly like bye bye why that man is that man that person that monster he is so disgusting so i'm not gonna listen to his music and i'd be seeing like in the shaver comments whenever r kelly's like a topic of conversation they're like oh yeah like i still listen to him like i can't let it go i feel like those are the same type of people that'll be like but that's my brother but that's my cousin but that's my best friend he wouldn't do that oh my goodness i can't believe it i just I just don't see him doing something like that. Just no. Those of them say it's the same energy like, oh, I don't care if he did this. Like, I still like his music. Like, you don't care. Like, I'm not going to say what it is that he did. But if y'all know R. Kelly, like, you know. Search that man's name up. You know. So it's like, how? Like, oh, I can't believe he did this. Okay, well, believe it because he did because he did now what like stop making excuses for these monsters you know what i mean like uh i just don't understand them type of people i feel like people who excuse like the behavior of those types of people like 
it's just like why and i just really hope that those people never have to endure something like that personally obviously they're excusing it because they haven't been through something like that personally and it hasn't affected somebody they personally love and know i just hope that they never have to experience that one day to learn that that type of behavior shouldn't be excused and i hate people who say like oh yeah people just lie for clout like the Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion situation like they're saying she's lying for clout like but how she was already famous she already had a platform like how is she lying for clout if she's already known already has a fan base she had already went viral on TikTok for the song Savage like she already was like doing stuff you know what i mean it wasn't like who meg who you know what i mean so it's like why would she do that just for clout like i just don't understand the people who say that and i know tori isn't allowed to publicly address the situation because it's still like going on in the courts and everything and they like i read an article saying that they have him silenced and that for whatever reason i forget the reason but they have him silenced he's not allowed to speak on it until it's resolved and the their most recent court case had gotten pushed back i don't know when the date of the next one is but i really want to see how that plays out did you guys hear about rest in peace lyric chanel the little girl who was battling brain cancer and she was like beyonce's biggest fan i also saw it on the shade room and I had said a prayer a couple of days ago when I first saw that they told, said she had a couple of days to live. And I found out, I believe it was on Friday, Friday morning, she had passed away. My heart really goes out for her family. It just gave me so much goosebumps because it's so sad because she was so young. She was such a little girl and nobody deserves to go through that. But you can just tell that in her face, like she was in so much pain and like she was really tired and Beyonce created um, a mashup, a melody mashup of a few of her hits for her lyric. And it was just such, it was so beautiful. Oh my goodness, guys. Also, here I am. I'm like talking about all current things on social media over here. But did you guys hear about, what was it? This girl, it's like in this middle school. The Shade Room hasn't posted it, but I really think the Shade Room should post this i know the original girl who posted it she deleted it i don't know why but then i ended up seeing it again on instagram today and it's of these these girls so there is a bully there's a victim and there's a person standing up for the bully the victim just so happens to be muslim and the bully just so happens to be a white girl and they're in the cafeteria and the video seemed very very premeditated and the one girl's recording and then the bully comes up she goes to the victim and just that ass starts beating her up like pushing on her and like going like this on her and the girl's like basically like laying like on the side of the seat already and she's just hitting on her and then the the girl's friends the victim's friends are they're like oh my goodness like in shock like as well like kind of scared and then the bully's friends are just there like laughing haha <laughs> like get her go ahead <laughs> and they just thought it was so funny and everybody's just laughing disgusting and then the person who stands up to the bully just so happens to be a girl of color and she beats her ass as she should she grabs the bully and just starts beating on her and they start fighting and she's just dragging her around and then literally the whole entire narrative changed like the girls in the background who were laughing and saying haha get her when the bully was bu was beating up the victim it ch when the bully was getting it handed right back to her they were all like oh my god stop 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 oh my god and then all of a sudden all of a sudden a lunch aide just so happens to uh, become unblind and now she can see and she goes in and she like grabs 
the girl who is standing up to the bully and she grabs her off of the bully and she's escorted away while the bully just stands up you know like huh like that and as if the girl who was standing up to the bully was the aggressor they took her and took her away and basically restrained her and the bully just stood there fine like make it make sense like that is just the racism really shows in that video and it's a like it's not even hidden like it hasn't been hidden for a long time honestly but it's it just this is a middle school that is so like i can only imagine the trauma that the victim has having endured that and having people laugh while this is happening to you like it just shows the true racism that people are such bullies and just because like it that seemed planned like they weren't arguing it wasn't like oh yeah or like it was no beef it was no conflict it was nothing the girl was just sitting there doing nothing with her friend like eating it was lunchtime and then she just starts beating up on her and then like, it's just the way it all played out, and I really feel like it deserves more coverage, and I hope that the Shade Room posts it. I hope it makes it to the news. Like, I really want this to blow up, because that is not okay. It infuriates me that this is what happens, and I would have been the girl standing right up to that bully, because you got me messed up. Like, I was always that person. I will always be that person. If I see somebody getting picked on like that, no, that is not about to fly by me. Like, wrong one you had the right one today you had the right one did that make you feel good about yourself like i just can't stand people and i just really feel bad for the girl the victim who was being bullied and everybody just stood there and laughed and i'm sorry that you had to experience that and i'm sorry that your school literally failed you like the holidays didn't see what was going on until that girl stood up for you. And that was amazing that the girl stood up for her, honestly. Kudos to her because she was the only one who did that. So I'm just going to go ahead and darken up my lower lash line. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to look like a raccoon. I don't want raccoon eyes. So I'm going to grab my Pure P100 brush. It's this like flat angled brush. And that's what I'm going to use to blend my lower lash line. I'm going to grab this shade right over here. It's called Edgy, and I'm just going to run it over. I think the other shade is a little too dark. Guys, remember how I told you like I've been binge-watching Jersey Shore with my boyfriend? So now we're on season four. We're on Italy. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Ron and Sam just got back together again. And I'm like, why? Why? Why did y'all get back together? <laughs> like, their relationship has literally been on and off for four seasons. So that's like four years at this point. Each summer. Like, I feel like they were, I don't know how their relationship was, like, off season. But I remember the first summer, like, they were cool for maybe, like, a week for a couple episodes and then i remember like ron was really drunk i got in this argument with this other couple and then i think sam just kept on and ron was just trying to like leave it and then like he got mad and he pushed her like he let he like shoved her and she was like oh my gosh like you just traumatized me like at the end like when they like were talking about it because like that is traumatizing why'd you hit her why'd you put her your hands on her why did you do that and then ever since then, it went downhill. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my eyes. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And it was so easy to create this look, guys. I literally used two shades. And then I used the glitter. I love how it all came out. And it is so beautiful. This was definitely a good learning experience. So I hope you guys took something from this video as well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I post. And with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're staying safe and keeping positive and having good vibes only. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. and part of my first eyelid so we're just gonna go ahead and jump my first eyelid <coughs> oh no i think i got i think i got a glitter in my eye all right so 
All right, so I went ahead and did my other eye and primed my, well, personally. 